there are a million possibilities of starting your own custom AI app. You can take any custom GPT, move it off of the platform onto your own website and start growing your own user base. I was looking at this custom GPT drawn to style. I think it's a fantastic idea for its own web app. Users are gonna upload their sketches or rough drawings and we're gonna turn it into a more polished, finished product. To do that, we're gonna use Bubble. If I were to make a website out of this custom GPT, I'd do something like this. First, I'd create a home page. In Bubble, they have something called components. So I'm gonna click components and scroll down and find something for a good landing page. Maybe something like this. I'm gonna click it and drag it onto the page. So we have a nice heading text, a description text, and then an image. I also wanna add a button. So I'm gonna take the button element and drag it into this group right here. Let's move it to the bottom. I'm gonna write start now in the button. For the heading text, I'm gonna use chat GPT to fill that in. I'm putting in the prompt, write me heading text for a landing page about a web app that turns people's rough sketches into polished drawings using AI. Let's send that in. And here we go, transform your sketches into masterpieces with AI powered precision. That is not bad. So I'm gonna copy this text and I'm gonna go into this heading text. I'm gonna paste it in. Maybe let's make it a tiny bit smaller. And I'm gonna make it a little more bold. There we go. Next I'm inputting, now write the description text that goes underneath that heading. Unleash your creativity without limits. Our innovative web app harnesses the power of artificial intelligence to turn your rough sketches into polished professional grade drawings. I don't think I need all of that text. It's a little too long. So I'm just gonna copy this first sentence and paste it in here. Perfect. I'm gonna click in the group, go to layout. And the row gap is a bit too large. I'm gonna go 25 pixels, shrink that a bit. And maybe center this image like so. For that landing page image, I'm gonna to go to explore GPTs and scroll down to Dolly 3. I'm writing cartoon picture of one dog aspect ratio 16 by nine. And this is exactly what I was picturing. So I'm gonna download this image. I'm gonna open that picture in MS Paint. Let's select one half of the dog. I'm gonna delete this half and I'm gonna grab a brush and try to make a rough sketch of what I'm seeing here. Try to make a mirror image of this dog. I'm not an artist, so bear with me here. All right, what do we think? Do I got the Picasso gene in me? I'm going to save this image. Let's save it as a PNG. I'm gonna double click on the image element. I'm gonna change that image. I'm gonna to go to layout. And we know it's a 16 by nine aspect ratio. So I'm gonna change that. And maybe add a border because I don't like that it's white on white. So I'm gonna to go to appearance, border style, solid. And let's make it a black border. There we go, something like this. Now I want a sign up pop-up so that the user has to register for an account in order to use my custom GPT. So again, I'm gonna use the components and I'm scrolling down to this sign up login pop-up. I'm gonna drag it onto the page. That is perfect. They have to input a name, an email address, a password, and then re-enter their password. So I'm gonna to go to this start now button. I'm gonna go add workflow. And I'm gonna to click to add an action, go element actions, toggle, and it's gonna to toggle that pop-up. Go back to design, find that pop-up. We're gonna click on the sign up button, go add workflow, and we're gonna add an action. And that action is gonna be account, sign the user up. The email address is going to be input sign up emails value. The password is gonna be input sign up passwords value. We are going to require a password confirmation. That confirmation is gonna be input sign up re-enter passwords value. And we're gonna change another field. I'm gonna click full name is equal to input sign up names value. And then once they've signed up, we're gonna navigate them to a new page. And that page is gonna be the custom GPT. Previewing the page quickly, if I click the start now button, boom, there comes the pop-up they would enter their details and then sign up. Now let's create a new page and we go add a new page. 
I'm going to call it sketch to image. Let's hit create on all blank pages. I like to double click, go to layout. I want to change them to column. That's the container layout. That means all elements will stack from top to bottom. I like to change the builder width. This isn't the width of the page. This is the width of the builder within the design tab. So to make it easier to see all the elements, I like to go to 500 and then stretch as need be. For that min height, we can also do 500. Put everything in your visual. In order to create a custom GPT, I'm gonna go to plugins and then the API connector. You would add that to the plugin store, it's completely free. And you need to create some open AI API calls. So I'm gonna click expand. I've taught how to do this in many other videos, but for this specific custom GPT, we're gonna need GPT vision because we're gonna look at the sketch drawing that the user has uploaded. And then we're gonna need Dolly 3 because Dolly 3 is gonna draw a brand new image that tries to mimic that sketch. I want a picture uploader element so the user can upload their sketch. So I'm gonna scroll down here and here's the picture uploader element. I'm gonna drag it onto the page. Let's go to layout. Let's make it 400 pixels wide and 200 pixels tall. I'm gonna center it on the page and make it 50 pixels from the top. Then we're gonna need an image result below this. That will be what Dolly 3 drew. So I'm gonna drag in an image element. Let's also make that 400 pixels wide. Let's go keep element aspect ratio fixed. Looking in our API call, it looks like the size is 1792 by 1024. With Dolly 3, you have three options. You have a square, you have a horizontal orientation, and then you have a vertical orientation. So this is a horizontal orientation, which means my aspect ratio for the image element is gonna be 1792 by 1024. Let's make this fixed width 400 pixels. I'm gonna center it on the page, make it 25 pixels from the top and 50 pixels from the bottom of the page. In order to display the dynamic results of our API call, we're gonna use custom states. So I'll double click on the page, click the I button here, add a new custom state. We're gonna call this result and the state type is going to be an image. Let's hit create. Now, if I click on the image, go to appearance, it's gonna be a dynamic image. I'm gonna insert dynamic data. We're gonna go sketch to image. That's the name of the page, it's result. So that was the custom state that we just made. Now in workflows, we can start building out the custom GPT. We need to add an event. I'm gonna to click to add an event. That event is going to be when an input's value is changed. That input is the picture uploader, which basically means when the user has uploaded an image, it starts the workflow. And what it's gonna do is, we're gonna to go to plugins, GPT vision. The input that we're gonna to give to GPT vision is, describe this drawing or sketch from the user so that we can recreate it with Dolly 3 in a more artistic way. The image URL is gonna be insert dynamic data, this picture uploader's value, URL. And because of the way Bubble stores URLs, we have to add HTTPS colon. Then we're gonna create another action. It's gonna be plugins, Dolly 3. The prompt is going to be insert dynamic data, whatever we got for the result of step one, choices, first items, message content. That basically means the result that we get from this API call. And then we're gonna add one more action and it's gonna be element actions, set state. We are setting the state of the page, that custom state result, and the value is going to be the result of step two's data, first items, URL. The full workflow, the user uploads a sketch. We read it with GPT vision. We describe that photo. We recreate that photo with Dolly 3, and then we display that photo on the page for the user. I'm seeing that this app has one issue and it's because we didn't fill out the go to page action. Now that we have sketch to image, I'm gonna click this and the destination is going to be sketch to image. Now let's test everything out. We land on the homepage. I'm gonna go start now. My name is Wes GPT. My email is heywesfrank at gmail.com. My password, one, two, three, four, five. Please nobody steal it. Re-enter password, one, two, three, four, five. Let's click sign up. 
There, now I have to upload an image. For that, I'm gonna use MS Paint again. Let's make a really bad house. Here's a door. Here are some windows. Here's the roof on the house. There's a little chimney. There's like a sidewalk. Let's say there is a tree on the front lawn. There is a bird in the sky. There's another bird here and then maybe a sun. And let's have the sun smiling. All right, there we go, very simple photo. Let's upload that image. And this is our result. I'm gonna right click, open image in new tab. That's pretty intense. Has the house, has the chimney, has the tree, has a few birds, and then we have the sun. If I was turning this custom GPT into a paid web app, I might add a credit system. I might use subscriptions. I would save the results to their profile. I would clean up the page, design it better, make it look more professional. I'd give them different style outputs, format outputs, different orientations, vertical, horizontal, square. There are thousands of things we could do to turn this into a viable AI side hustle. So if you wanna get deeper with me, I have a full online course. Click the link in the description below. I'd love for you to join the first cohort. And if you like this video, there's two more on the screen right now. I specifically chose two that are most relevant to you. Choose one of them for me. Give it a click. Give it a watch. We'll continue from there. Later.